Hello, how to solve t power 6 equals 7 power 6? We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. So we start by moving this 7 power 6 across this equality sign. It will change to negative 7 power 6. We have t power 6 minus 7 power 6 and this equals 0. Now we can express this exponent of 6 as 2 dot of 3 and 2. So we have t power 3 times 2 minus 7 power 3 times 2 and this equals 0. Now if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n all to the power of m. So we apply this identity here and here. That means we are going to have t to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 7 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 and this equals 0. So from here, we can make use of difference of two squares because this is power 2 and this is power 2 and also we have a subtraction sign here and the difference of two squares is that if you have a power 2 minus b power 2 this equals a minus b times a plus b and in this case our a equals t to the power of 3 and b equals 7 to the power of 3. So let's make use of this. So for a minus b, we have t power 3 minus 7 power 3 times for a plus b, we have t power 3 plus 7 power 3 and this equals 0. So we are now going to solve each of these by equating each of these to 0. So we are going to have t power 3 minus 7 power 3 equals 0 or t power 3 plus 7 power 3 equals 0. So let's start with this one here. If you have t power 3 minus 7 power 3 equals 0, for us to solve this, we are simply going to expand. Now if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b to the power of 2. And in this case, our a equals t, b equals 7. So let's do the same thing right here. Let's make use of that identity in order to expand. We have t minus 7 times this is t squared plus this is 7t plus 7 power 2 and this equals 0. So from here, we are going to have t minus 7 times this is t power 2 plus 7t plus 7 squared is 49 and this equals 0. So from here, we equate each of these to 0 and solve them individually. We have t minus 7 equals 0 or t squared plus 7t plus 49 equals 0. Now for the first one here, this is a linear equation. We have t equals positive 7. We simply move this negative 7 over here. This is our t1. Now let's solve this other one to find the other values of t. So we are going to solve it using the formula method. We have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And from here, 1 is the coefficient of t squared, that is our a. 7 is the coefficient of t, that is our b. And our c is the 49. So we have t equals negative p, negative 7 plus or minus square root of p squared, that is 7 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 49, divided by 2 times 1. So from here, we have t equals, this is negative 7 plus or minus square root of 7 squared 
this is 49 minus 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 49, you are going to have 196 divided by 2. So, from here, you have t equal this is negative 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus 196, you have negative 147 divided by 2. So from here you have t equal this is negative 7 plus or minus this minus here you have square root of negative 1 times square root of 147 divided by 2. So from here you have t equal this is negative 7 plus or minus square root of negative 1 this is i times square root of 147 you can express it as 49 times 3 divided by 2. So from here you have t equal this is negative 7 plus or minus i times square root of 49 that is 7 times root 3 divided by 2. So from here you have this t equals, you can factor out 7 over 2. You have 7 over 2 times this is negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So we have two complex solutions which are t equals, this is 7 over 2 times negative 1 plus i root 3. That is our second solution. And also we have t3 equal to 7 over 2 times negative 1 minus i root 3. Now we have gotten three solutions so far. So let's get to the other equation that we had. So we have this other one here. t power 3 plus 7 power 3 equals 0. So we are going to copy it down here. So we have t power 3 plus 7 power 3 equals 0. Now we are going to expand it using this identity. If you have a power 3 plus b power 3, this equals a plus b times this is a squared minus a b plus b power 2. And in this case, our a equals t and our b equals 7. So let's make use of this. We have a plus b, that is t plus 7 times t squared minus this is 7 t plus 7 power 2 and this equals 0. So from here we have this is t plus 7 times t squared minus 7 t plus this is 49 equals 0. So from here, you can equate each of these to zero. You have t plus 7 equals 0. Or you have this. That is t squared minus 17 plus 49 equals 0. Now for this, you have t equals negative 7. This is our t4. Now let's solve this for the other values of t. So we make use of the formula again, t equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. Now, 1 is the equation of t squared, that is our a, this is our b, which is negative 7, and our c is 49. We have t equals negative b, that is negative times negative 7 plus or minus square root of b squared is negative 7 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a that is 1 times 49 and this is divided by 2 times 1. So from here we have t equals this is 7 plus or minus square root of this will be 49 minus 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 49 that will give you 196 divided by 2. 
So from here you have t equal to 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus 196 will give you negative 147. And you have this divided by 2. So from here you have t equal this is 7 plus or minus. There's minus here. We have square root of negative 1 times square root of 147 divided by 2. So right now, this will give us i. So we are going to have t equal this is 7 plus or minus i times square root of 147. We can express it as 49 times 3. We have it divided by 2. So from here we have t equal to 7 plus or minus i times square root of 49. That is 7 times 3 divided by 2. So from here we can factor out 7 over 2. So we have t equal to 7 over 2 times 1 plus or minus i root 3. So we also have two complex solutions here, which are this is our t5 will be 7 over 2 times this is 1 plus i root 3 and also a final one which is t6 will be 7 over 2 times 1 minus i root 3 so we have ended up having 6 different solutions this, this and also we have this and this, and we have two real solutions, which are t equals positive 7 and t equals negative 7. Now, if you obviously insert those values for t, they are going to satisfy this equation. So you have check, you have the real solution t equals 7 and t equals negative 7. Now, if you test it here, if you consider the first one, you have 7 power 6 equals 7 power 6 this and this are the same so if you consider the second one when t equals negative 7 what you are going to have will be remember is t power 6 equals 7 power 6 so if you consider this we are going to have negative 7 power 6 equals 7 power 6 obviously when you have a negative number here a negative sign raised to the power of an even number we are going to have a positive so this is the same thing as writing 7 power 6, and this equals 7 power 6. So they are all correct, and we have four complex solutions. So the reason we are having six different solutions is because the exponent is 6. So that's why we are having four complex solutions and two real solutions. So that's it. Thank you and goodbye.